Have you ever wondered how to make a Big Mac at home? Welcome to the world of the iconic Big Mac, a burger that's charmed taste buds globally with its perfect blend of flavors. The allure of the Big Mac lies not only in its mouth-watering layers of ground beef, sesame seed bun, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions, but also in a secret sauce that sparked intrigue for decades. Simple ingredients, yet a complex masterpiece. Now let's unravel the mystery behind this fast food icon. Making a Big Mac starts with building the burger. Let's get to the heart of the matter, the beef patties. Start with quality, fresh ground beef. You want a little bit of fat for flavor, so aim for an 80-20 mix of lean to fat. Now shape that beef into thin, round patties. Keep them uniform for even cooking. You're not making meatballs or thick steaks here. Think thin, think flat, think Big Mac. A little seasoning goes a long way. Sprinkle each patty liberally with salt and pepper. That's all the spice you need. Remember, the beauty of a Big Mac lies in its simplicity. While your patties are sizzling away, let's turn our attention to the buns. A Big Mac isn't a Big Mac without its iconic sesame seed buns. And yes, that's buns, plural. You've got your bottom bun, your middle bun, and your top bun. Toast these lightly for a delicate crunch that contrasts beautifully with the soft interior. Time management is key here. As your patties cook, your buns should be toasting. You don't want to be left with cold patties or burnt buns. When your patties have a nice brown crust on both sides, set them aside to rest. Don't be tempted to press them down with your spatula. That just squeezes out all the juicy goodness. And don't rush them back into the game. Let them rest. They've earned it. Meanwhile, keep an eye on your buns. Once they're lightly toasted, remove them from the heat. They should be warm and slightly crispy, but not hard or overly browned. In the world of Big Mac creation, it's all about harmony. The balance between the juicy patties and the lightly toasted buns. The play of textures and flavors. With the patties cooked and the buns toasted, you're halfway to creating your own Big Mac. And we're just getting started. Up next, the secret sauce. But that's a story for another scene. The Big Mac wouldn't be the same without its secret sauce. This distinctive tangy spread has long been the subject of speculation and intrigue. But here's the twist. The secret sauce isn't so secret. That's right, the ingredients are readily available, and you can whip it up right in your own kitchen. Let's break it down. You'll need mayonnaise, sweet pickle relish, and yellow mustard for that creamy, tangy base. Vinegar adds a hint of acidity, balancing the sweetness of the relish. Garlic powder and onion powder bring the savory notes, lending depth to the sauce. And finally, a dash of paprika rounds everything off with a subtle warmth. Mixing these ingredients together is a breeze. Just combine them in a bowl and give it a good stir until everything is well incorporated. It's best to let the sauce sit for a bit to allow the flavors to meld together. And there you have it, the not-so-secret sauce that gives the Big Mac its distinctive flavor. Now comes the fun part, assembling the Big Mac. Imagine yourself as an architect and your blueprint is flavor. Your foundation is the soft, slightly toasted bottom bun. It's the stage for the performance of ingredients about to unfold. Directly onto this, place your first perfectly cooked beef patty. Its sizzling, savory aroma is just the opening act. Now introduce the cheese, a slice of melty American goodness, harmonizing with the warm beef below. Next, sprinkle a handful of finely chopped onions, their sharp tang and exciting contrast. Then comes the crisp, fresh lettuce, offering a crunchy interlude. Don't forget those zesty pickles, a tangy note that surprises and delights. Now for the star of our show, a generous dollop of the secret sauce. This creamy, tangy, slightly sweet concoction is what gives our Big Mac its iconic flavor. Spread it evenly, ensuring every bite gets its fair share of this magic. Then place the middle bun, a soft interlude to the symphony of flavors. Repeat the sequence with another patty, cheese, onion, lettuce, pickles, and of course, the secret sauce. The final act is the top bun, toasted and slightly crisp, a fitting closure to our masterpiece. And there you have it, your very own homemade Big Mac. Enjoy. Now you know the secret to making a Big Mac at home. Let's recap. Start with fresh, quality ingredients, carefully craft your patties, and don't forget that special sauce. It's all in the details. Assembling the burger is an art in itself, a perfect balance of flavors and textures. The beauty of this iconic burger is that you can now enjoy it right in your own kitchen. So, why not give it a try? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more delicious recipes.